In this segment of Essential RV Maintenance, I'll show you how to clean out your hot water tank. I recommend cleaning the hot water tank at least once a year. If your hot water tank is heavily used or you're camping in an area where the water source is high in mineral content, you're going to want to do it more than once a year. This procedure will remove dirt and scale that can shorten the life of your tank. As a point of caution, keep in mind that hot water from your tank can cause burns. So before you begin this procedure, I recommend turning off the hot water tank switches that control the electric and gas heating elements. Next, turn on the hot water inside your RV until it runs cold. This will ensure that the water temperature is lowered to such a point as you can handle it safely. Access to your hot water heater is located on the exterior of your RV behind a panel that looks like this. The first thing you want to do is turn off the water to your coach. Also turn off the water pump if you have it on. Once that's complete, you can go on to the other steps. Remove the nylon drain plug using a crescent wrench or other suitable wrench and eventually you'll get it loose enough you can use your fingers to finish the job. Remember the nylon drain plug is under pressure. If you have a suburban water heater, um, you have an anodized rod which also is your drain plug. When you take that out and remove it, it's also a good time to replace it because these uh, anodized rods uh, are in there in order to keep the minerals from depositing on the sides of the metal tank and uh, they wear away and uh, wear out as you can see in this picture. And so it would be a good time uh, to replace that rod and then you can um, continue with the procedure. We've removed the nylon plug allowing the tank to drain. Any materials that are in the tank would come out. And after we do that, we are going to turn on the, the water to the RV once again and allow it to flush out of the system for about five minutes. But I just turned the uh, city water back on to the RV and we're, we will allow that to flush out the hot water tank for about five minutes. It'll get it good and clean on the inside. Then we'll turn the water off again and replace the nylon drain plug cover and then button it up. Turn on the hot water on the inside to allow the tank to fill up again and clear itself of air. And then we'll be able to use our hot water system again free of any debris inside the tank. Cleanup is easy. Just spray off any remaining residue, reattach the nylon retaining cap, go inside the RV, turn on the hot water to refill the hot water tank, and you're done. I'm Jim Twomley, Professor of RVing. Until next time, thanks for watching.